Hello, everyone. I want to welcome you all in this presentation. My name is Susan Morrison, and I'm working as a Senior Watershed Management Officer in Basin Management Center, Pokhara, Nepal. In this presentation, I will briefly explain about Fewa Lake and its watershed area with information about its degraded condition decades before and the restoration activities implemented by government of Nepal and the results that we achieved and the lesson we learned from the implementation of restoration programs. Thewa Lake is located at midwestern part of Nepal in Pokhara Valley. The watershed area of Thewa Lake extends from 742 meter altitude to 2480 meter above sea level. Pokhara Valley received the highest amount of rainfall in Nepal. It is estimated the annual average rainfall of the Pokhara Valley is 4062 millimeter with average rainy days of 128 to 164. The estimated mean annual maximum temperature of the valley is 29 degrees centigrade and the minimum mean annual temperature is 5.3 degrees centigrade. Among many rivers, Harpon, Antheri, Betani, Bulondi, and Firke rivers are the major rivers that draining into the Fewa Lake. The people living around the Fewa Lake mostly involve in tourism related activities such as hotels, restaurants, trekking, bars, boating, and certain percent of people also involved in agricultural activities and fish farming also. Fewa Lake is one of the 10 Ramsar sites of Nepal. This lake was included in Ramsar sites in 2016. Fewa Lake is the second largest freshwater lake in Nepal after Rara Lake. Decades before, the landscape of Fewa Lake was very disturbed, denuded and degraded due to different anthropogenic disturbances such as open and overgrazing, deforestation and forest degradation that caused high siltation in Lake Pewa. Realizing the extreme environmental degradation of the area and the immediate necessity of the restoration activities, government of Nepal has designed and implemented different kinds of restoration projects with the help of technical and financial supports from different donor agencies in this Thewa Lake landscape area. In all level of restoration activities from planning to implementation and monitoring, the involvement of local communities was given high priority. Among many restoration activities implemented in this area, community best forest management is one of the most important and successful interventions. In 1970s, government of Nepal has passed a provision that allows to hand over certain area of forest area to the nearby communities to manage as community forest. And at present, there are 116 number of forest user groups managing about 3,745 hectares of forest lands and the areas are in good conditions. Deforestation, reforestation and agroforestry activities were also extensively promoted at that time by establishing different number of permanent and temporary nurseries in strategical locations to produce important tree, fodder and grass species seedlings. Soil conservation activities such as torrent control, gully treatment, riverside treatments, check dams, terrace improvement and trial improvement were also intensively implemented to reduce the soil erosion and to treat the landslides and 
ultimately to reduce the siltation. Similarly, the local people and the technical manpower involving in restoration activities wells also provided different kinds of trainings to enhance their capacity to improve their quality of work in restoration activities. And most importantly, the establishment of Payment for Ecosystem Services Board, which was established to resolute the conflicting situation between offstream and downstream communities regarding to the continuation of conservation activities in offstream sites and the sustenance of the ecosystem services for downstream communities such as volume of water, quality of water, and reduction in siltation, etc. With the implementation of restoration activities for a long period of time, we were able to achieve numerous good results, among them the increment of people's awareness level in nature conservation and their participation is very important one. Similarly, the large area of degraded lands are also reclaimed in these two pictures, you can see these changes that we achieved through implementation of restoration activities for a long period of time. The first picture was taken in 1970s, where you can see a big landslide and large amount of sediment deposited at base. And in second picture taken recently of the same site, which where you can see a good forest covered and the settlements you can see there develop after the restoration of the area. The green coverage area of the Pewa Lake watershed area is also increased by many fold. At present, there is 55% of land covered by forest area. Similarly, the flora and faunal diversity of the area is also increased. And most importantly, there is sharp decline in siltation, which was 30 metric ton per hectare per year, now estimated around 15 metric ton per hectare per year. With the successful implementation of restoration activities, we learned certain very important aspects that could contribute a lot in conservation and restoration activities in other areas also. For example, the community involvement in restoration activities is very important. Without their involvement or their participation in restoration activities, we cannot achieve the targets of restoration. Similarly, the coordination among the stakeholders is also very important for effective and successful implementation of the restoration activities. There must be a good connection between conservation activities and livelihood upliftment of the local communities. The conservation activities must help or must contribute in improvement of local livelihoods. Otherwise, the people participation may not be there. Similarly, the capacity of the community people and technical staffs must be enhanced time to time and there must be a mechanism that will monitor all field level activities and provide the instant feedback to the working groups that will help to improve the quality of the works. Based on experience that we gain from the implementation of restoration activities, here I have listed down certain aspects that must be considered by policymakers and project developers before designing and implementing the new policy and projects for the similar areas like Pewa Lake landscapes. The projects must Adopt the multi-stakeholder approach with interdisciplinary actions. There must be a provisional stable governing system that will look after the project activities for a long period of time. There must be a good link between development 
work and environment conservation. There must be a mechanism that will assist to develop a harmonious relationship between development works and environment conservation. The restoration projects must be provided technical and financial support for long period of time. And all projects must well articulate the upstream and downstream linkages. Thank you very much.